Well, buddy, Kirk Hatcher here, and today, um, this is not going to be one of those tank episodes from the tank series. I'm just going to be doing a how to, just basically a how to video. So, without further ado, let's get this going. So, first, I'm going to be showing you how to tie a, just a basically, just a simple, a simple knot for, um, hooks for lures for any of that stuff so yeah i'm just going to be uh showing you how to do that this that will be this episode and next episode i'll probably do um uh what time is good for bass fishing and stuff like that like and what time is good for i, I don't know just any fishing um so yeah let me let me get my rod right here i already have a small little hook on there let me get something to test out with so you guys can really actually see. Get a big lure on. Mm -hmm. oh, it's all twisted up. Okay. I'm going to get something out of my tackle box now. I'm going to use a... Oh, she's got grass on. Um, something big for you guys. Uh, okay. Get a we got pliers. Hang on. We got line all on this one, on this first one. Come on. Okay. I have this little stand that's for like this like, music notes and stuff that the brother uses. But I mean, he doesn't do stuff like that. But, let's borrow it. So, I'm just going to tie on a River 2C um, Whopper Plopper. Uh, this thing's actually, it's a really good bait. It's really good to use early in the morning, but if you guys have like a bunch of grass in your ponds or in lakes or whatever you're fishing this in, don't fish it. Like, for real, it, this little blade in there just gets all torn up in it. And I just noticed that I have grass in there, and I'm going to try to get that out later. I mean, it does feel pretty good now, but, yeah. I'm just going to use this to tie on so you guys can easily see. Let's see here. Line. Now, bail. I need different pound mono on my line. I'm, I'm, I'm a different pound line. If you guys don't know what mono, mono is, monofilament and stuff like that, it's just, it's what the line is called. There's mono, there's monofilament. Wait, it, I think that's the f same thing. Um, but yeah, there's monofilament and there's braid. And I don't know there's a different type, but I can't remember it. Yeah. But this color, I'm th pretty sure this is like, oh, I guess it's this is it. Oh, well, yeah, I have another one that's shad colored. Okay, so first what you're going to do is you're going to get your, your lure, and you're going to get your line. Hopefully you guys can see the line. And you're going to put line right through, the, right through the eye, and then twist it about six times. But if you guys are fishing for really big fish, and you guys want to have a little bit more secure, you can twist it about a couple more times, about three. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a little bit of a... Hmm. Well, it's kind of out of focus, but right there, there is a little loop from the line. You're going to put the end of your line that you have right now through that. And then you're going to have this. Kind of pull down on that, and then just yank that through. And then there, you got your simple knot. And what you want to do is you always want to make sure that that knot is on there good so you want to pull that and once it is never leave this out i just it just i think it just messes up the lure but just get your line and snip that off right there and yeah you always want to leave like a little bit off just so if the fish pulls a little bit like like if it's a really big fish then the line will go through a little bit and, and it'll stay on better that's not just theory that I have, but yeah. This, just a little sign out, this bait is good for 
in the mornings and in the afternoons, like early in the morning and like right whenever the sun comes out and in the afternoon, right whenever the sun comes down. Okay, well, since this video was a little bit short, um, I guess a tank's hungry. I'll be right back. Guys, I'm back and I have a, have a little mud minnow from the intercoastal waterway. Even though that tank is freshwater fish, I do rinse them off before I feed them, just to let you guys know that. So, he was frozen and yeah. So now, we will feed the mighty tank. Eat it. Boom. Just like that. Got the tail sticking out of his mouth now. I'll move. I guess that'll be the end of this episode. And next episode, I guess I will make, um, hmm. I'll do how to cast. I'll do how to cast. That's a good idea. Alright guys, well, see you in the next one. Just remember guys, tank. Oh, yeah, I have, a, I have an announcement to make. This Friday, if I, I set out a fish trap, and if I catch a baby bass in there, tank will have to go. But I'm going to put the baby bass in there, and I'm going to raise him up until he's, like, really big, and then I'll let him go. Like, right in the same pond he's in and all that. But, Tank, yeah. So, yeah, if I, if I get a little baby bass, I don't know what I'll name him. I don't know. Um, so, if. That's an if. So, if I get him, I'll let you guys, um, I'm, do you know what? I'm gonna actually do a live stream on that. I'll do a live stream how to what name to name them. So okay, well, I got a little notification. Sorry about that. I had a little notification on my phone and I tried to flip it up and I accidentally clicked on it. So let me go back to what I was saying. Maybe I'll do a live stream on that. Who knows? And on that live stream, you guys can name the new bass if I get one. Um, and whenever I do. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm just trying to make up things. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep the same, the same little area as this. I definitely do need to clean my tank out a little bit. I need to get some scrapbook stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, it's not today's episode. I'm going to do one right after this. So you guys will get these pretty, pretty soon. So yeah, um, better catch her out. Go crazy, berserker, I killed it, it's murder. Go crazy, berserker.